Andrews University Gymnics. All year they train hard, developing their gymnastic skills, and this documentary will uncover the hard work that goes on behind the scenes of our AU Gymnics. The good, the bad, and the ugly. the first night. It's to basically see who can break a sweat the fastest, which Brian Safarski was hands down the winner. Please have mercy, this is the first night. We'll get better. After that was on to tummy stretching to make sure they can fit into their leotards. Coach Curry walked around and tried to focus their attention to the tasks at hand. Handstands, that is. Some of them were helped by others' hands. Some were helped by their feet. Some used their friends' backs for whatever reason. What's up? From Brian. Come on. Oh, hey. Take me on a date first, eh? <laughs> all in all, everyone gave their best, and Coach Curry was very proud. He told them so, and they sang songs. And some still tried to work out those stomach muscles. I got a chance to sit down and interview some of the gymnics to ask them various questions about how they felt things were going and how the future looked. Huh? I'm just here to have fun, uh, make make some friends, uh, have some fun with some old friends, you know, mess around. I've, I don't know, I've been on the team three years. I've got pretty good skills. Some, some, some things crappy, some things good. Hey, we'll see what happens. Um, I think the thing I look forward to the most is doing shows and spending weekends with everyone and making new friends. My favorite thing about being on Gym Mix. Huh, I would say uh, between the ladies, the moves, and the routines, I would have to go with uh, doing the moves with the ladies in the routines. Oh, the coolest thing about being on Gym Mix. Um, I have to say, you know, the, the moves we do are uh, they're entertaining. Uh, they give us something to do. Give us an excuse to not do homework at night. It's nice. Um, yeah, pretty much I'd have to say the coolest thing about being on Gymnix uh, is, is the girls. Definitely. Oh, the ladies on the team. Yeah. Um, when, when I said the girls, I didn't mean the ladies on the team. Um, yeah, I'm talking about the girls you get from being on Gymnix. See. Okay, when I said you get a lot of girls from being on Gymnix, I didn't mean I didn't mean I get a lot of girls from being on Gymnix. But the other guys on the team, like nonstop, they're just like breaking down their doors and, and I I get to hear hear about the stories later. All the ladies do tend to flock towards me. So I get all the ladies. I don't know about Brian. Oh the camaraderie. Uh yeah, the guys, they're uh they're they're awesome. They're good guys. I uh, I like hanging out with them some sometimes, but uh, you know once in a while, like during during practice, I'll I'll talk to them sometimes. The ladies on the team are all really hot, and hopefully on some trips, you know, I might uh, I might talk to them because they're cool, and I need friends. I don't have any friends. Gosh.
My favorite part of Gymnix would have to be when Alicia and I do doubles together because it's a lot of fun. And yeah. You guys flip around. Oh, two man rolls? Two yeah. Man rolls. Those really go. suck. <laughs> we can't do those. <laughs> we both suck at those, but everything else is fun. <laughs> That's pretty much it. What is my relationship with Brian Saflarski? Uh, well, we fell in love like uh, the second day of practice. Uh, the first day was just weird. It was awkward. But now, you know, we, uh, I think in any move, I think I would choose, yeah, the big guy. The Brian Saflarski. I still haven't come up with the superhero name. But it's coming. It's coming. Tito's my pal. He's my uh, my little uh, Mexican. He's my he's my little Sanchez. He's uh, that's his last name, by the way, Sanchez. And uh, he's a uh, he's a good guy. We uh, we work out together, and um, he's uh, it's fun. We have good times. A lot of a lot of bonding when you're uh, when you're on a gymnastics team. Uh, about the people on the team, I think. I think everybody seems really cool. I mean, I don't, I don't really know too many people. I uh, just met Brian at the beginning of the summer, and he was kind of like my segue into this whole crowd. And he's a good guy. I enjoy him every day. And, uh, you know, everybody else seems cool. I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone. <laughs> Who makes her smile? On to the next night, where lifting children was the exercise at hand. I could see the team bonding right before my eyes. Sometimes I was a little frightened by it. And he's gonna be on the team after all. We all have personal bubbles, but in Gymnix there are no bubbles. This can prove an advantage in some areas and a definite disadvantage in others. You can be the judge. But heads this direction. All together. Ready? One group of the four all together. Ready? Up. Shoulder stand. Then my favorite. The old feet to the stomach and you hope that's all they get move and the balancing act of getting to know your friends better than you ever imagined. Then, the gymnics practice their tumbling or rolling skills in this case. They attempted a variety of different tumbling exercises all led by Kelly, coach's pet Streelman. These guys remarked oh, yeah, how cool yeah. it was that I was making a documentary <laughs> on their team. I was touched. The rest of this part is basically a montage of the hard work and sacrifice that these gymnics go through on a nightly basis.
Besides the fact that I think I'm gonna puke because I'm so dizzy, no. I think that's about it. Oh, there, there goes that guy. I don't even know this guy's name. He just puked on me though. Cartwheels. Nice. Again. Again? Opposite way. Oh, opposite way, okay. I saw Andre walk into class like that the other day. Did you know, uh, did you know Andre actually walks to class like that sometimes? That's true. I've seen it. It's really creepy. She puts her book bags on her feet. Andrea walking to class on her hands. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I've seen it a couple times. Uh, kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Looks like an alien. If you, uh, like, the early morning classes when it's still a little dark out. She also, she's very white. Very iridescent. And she glows in the dark. So, um, so yeah, like, uh, I've had a I've had an early morning class uh, like last year it was like I don't know six thirty I was out walking to class and I saw her walking on her hands to class or just around I don't know what she does but um, but yeah I I was scared. After all was said and done for another night, the coach talked about the team and how he felt they were doing and how having a video guy around only made things better for all. But to become truly good, all had to look into themselves and strive every day to give it their all and show their best out on the mats. All were inspired and determined to make the Gymnics team as tryouts were drawing to a close. But for some reason, it wasn't quite over yet. How, uh, how's your soreness? Now, Coach ramped it up a notch. From training to testing, he and his minion named Kelly Streelman tightened their iron fist to weed out anyone who dared not take this team seriously. Now, into the third week, I asked some how they felt tryouts were going. Uh, tryouts are going all right. It's been, they've been going for about three weeks and I don't really know why, but yeah, they've been going good, I think. Actually, much better than ever. Uh, tryouts are going very well. We look like we have some talent and I very much enjoy our new coach. Why do I want to make the team well, I want to make the team because I've always wanted to do gymnastics, and uh, this seems like a good opportunity. I'm not very good. I only started a couple of months ago, but uh, we got all our checkoffs done, so we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, the team, the team is pretty good so far. If not, we can, maybe we'll have weekly eliminations. Go people off the team. Yeah. You've been voted off the mat. As far as bringing things to the team, I bring an open mind and <laughs> a working spirit. And that's about it. Oh yeah, I have a banjo too. Every gymnast tried to fit in last minutes of practice before facing Kelly Streelman and her check sheet of doom. They even had to do leapfrogs. That's not on the list. It would be right here. Oh my goodness, it is. It is on the list. And they just... Actually, aren't, aren't you a fellow gymnast? How, how are you getting uh, coach, coach powers? You're the assistant. Not everyone enjoyed her special powers. After frustration was mounting as several people were constantly getting scored lower than they felt they deserved, I decided to ask some people what they thought of this system. That's sad. That's what a one will do to you. Some took their time to think about this important issue. And uh, she seems to be like coach's little goody two shoes. Oh, at least I don't do back tucks like Van does. More people. <laughs> uh, she always seems to be holding a clipboard. I don't know what that's all about. Kelly, what's wrong with you and that clipboard? Tito said what? Curious to see how Kelly would rate my video camera skills, I had her put me to the test. How was that? Was that one good? It was. It was a three. It was a, no, nice. Nice. Off to flexibility testing. Nothing too funny to say about this, so I guess I'll just roll some music. Uh -oh. <laughs> Arms out.
Finally, I asked Scott Ooh. who the best tumblers on the team were and right. how he felt he was as a gymnast. Top three best tumblers on the team. Top three best tumblers. Um, Andrea, Matt Streelman, and Andrew Osano. Andrew Osano. What about you? Where are you in there? Uh, well, I'm, I'm more of the average to lower range in tumbling. <laughs> tumbling is not my, my highest point. I'm getting better, but hey. But give Scott credit, he is a worker. But it was up to Jesse to show how it was done. All right, Scott was just messing around. This is actually how it's done. Oh my goodness. So in the end, gymnastics prevailed Friendships were renewed, and Andrew Osano was proved to be one of the best gymnasts ever. to be 20 years old. Feels pretty crappy. Oh, you're recording. <laughs>